move to the back of the head and take a vertical parting down the center of the back section from the top of the crown to the nape, dividing the back in two sections. On the left side, part off a one inch section at the nape and clip the remaining hair up and out of the way. Repeat on the right side. Next, you'll cut your guide. Beginning in the back on the left side, comb and elevate the hair, holding it one finger's distance from the base area. This is a 30 to 45 degree elevation or holding position for creating graduation. Next, cut the section diagonally along the inside of the middle finger of your left hand. This is the hand holding the hair. Notice how the entire left hand is angled downward to the left. Repeat this same procedure on the right side, cutting the hair in the opposite direction. Once you've finished cutting the back guideline, you can refine the perimeter shape at the nape by holding the section out with your comb and using the point cutting technique. As you can see, when the first section is complete, it already shows graduation. Rather than lying flat, the hair stacks along the graduated angle you've cut. With the first section complete, you can go ahead and release the next half inch section, which should show the previously cut guide through it. Then, comb the hair down and out at a 30 degree elevation and cut, following the established guideline. Repeat this procedure on the opposite side. Next, continue bringing down half-inch sections and cutting them to your guide. Follow this procedure as you work up through the back area, making sure not to shift the hair away from the natural fall direction as you work. Once you reach the crest, you'll begin working on the sides. To start, part all the way through the sides taking a diagonal forward section that's no more than a half inch over the ear. Bring the head upright and cut diagonally with zero degree elevation. Then, position your fingers to establish the length and create the diagonal line. Cut the entire side section, holding the hair as close to the skin as possible. Next, move to the right side. Bring down a half inch diagonal parting over the ear. Bring the head upright and holding the hair low Begin cutting at the graduated back. Cut diagonally forward with the hair in natural fall. Position your fingers to establish the length and create the diagonal line. Then cut the entire side section, working as close to the skin as possible. Before cutting the next partings at the sides, check and make sure that the lengths are even on both sides. Once you've checked the length, return to the left side, part diagonally releasing a half inch section. Cut following the established guideline. As you work toward the sides, maintain the natural fall direction, 
holding the hair at zero degree elevation. Move again to the right side, parting diagonally to release sections. Maintain natural fall while cutting through the sides following the established guide. Continue to move from left to right, cutting along the established guideline diagonally toward the front and sides. Then, section the top fringe area, part and comb it to the right side. and cut it at an angle through the front that blends with the sides. Keep in mind that when cutting the top, cut on the heavy side of the part, right side only. To finish the cut, check the entire perimeter using the point cutting technique. As you can see, the sculptural silhouette is a magnificent shape that can be adapted in a number of ways, and the precision of the shape gives the style a modern appeal.